Hi, I'm Captain Monty Graham with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. You know, with these rainstorms coming in, the winds have been getting lighter. I've been running out here to the to the gas rigs, uh, going around these gas rigs slowly, and have my depth finder on. And once I find the bulk of the fish, live croaker or live shrimp, uh, it seems like the bigger trout are starting to get out here. So just work each one of these wells, you know, give it 30, 40 minutes, you know. If you don't catch catch your fish you're looking for on the well, move off to the next one. But the fish are starting to show up out here a lot, lot better than what they were. Um, so just keep working. Each one of these wells have been holding good fish. Also, you know, you can come back over to on the way back in and start working the L head through here. Been pretty good numbers of trout through here. There's been mixed in with a couple redfish. Um, right on the entrance coming in has been holding black drum on both the, both edges. Dead shrimp or live shrimp has been the ticket. Those of you that like to fish Portland shoreline, uh, up against these new rocks they built a few years ago on these entrances, uh, we've been catching redfish through here, cut mullet, uh, cut ladyfish, cut manhaden has been the ticket. Um, after I get done there, I've been running down to the piers, uh, live, live croaker, just freelining up against these piers. There's been redfish. There have been good numbers of trout. Uh, if you got live shrimp, uh, freeline your live shrimp. There's also been black drum and there have been mangrove snappers showing up on these piers. So pretty good fish along Portland. If you don't find them there, you're sure to come over here to the docks over in Ingleside. There have been good mangrove snappers starting to show up over here. We've been getting trout. We've been getting a few reds through here. And the black drum are starting to show up on these rocks also. So all this area around Ingleside, around these docks, have been holding decent fish. Those of you that like to pier fish, uh, let's not forget, they just opened up Indian Point Pier. Uh, brand new lighting, brand new pier, uh, pretty nice uh, parking over here. Uh, and... This is the time of the year that the black drum are going to start showing up. Uh, the speckled trout are showing up here also, and you're going to get a few mi mixed in redfish. So those of you that like to pier fish, don't forget, Indian Point Pier is open with uh, all new underwater lighting. We've also been coming over here to Flato first thing in the morning on outgoing tide. Uh, cut mullet, live mullet, uh, cut ladyfish have been the ticket on the redfish over here. Um, then once we get done there, we've been coming all the way to the back and dead shrimp or live shrimp. We've been finding those drum and staying with the school Been pretty decent, uh, school of black drum back here in Flato. Also, you know, you come back over into Atlantic cut and work these little islands and grass beds all on the edges right here. Uh, I've been using just cut mullet or cut. Manhaden have been the ticket, or if you catch a ladyfish, uh, ladyfish have been working real well for the redfish all around these islands. Uh, if you come on back through and start working these deeper guts with uh, shrimp, uh, just work, get your trolling motor out and start trolling through here. You'll you'll see them them big wads of black drum just being up on the top when that sun is out. Just go slow, be visual. And you'll see them, but there's a lot of good black drum back here in Shamrock right now also. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Monty Graham.